Whales are the largest animals on Earth, and the blue whale is one of the biggest species that has ever lived. It can reach more than 100 feet and weigh more than 190 tons. Whales are truly significant creatures, but what happens to their enormous bodies when they die? It's an extremely difficult topic to investigate, because the ocean is unfathomably deep, which makes it almost impossible to find out what happens to whale carcasses when they disappear into the depths. When the decay sets in soon after the death of a whale, the animal expands with gas and sometimes floats up to the ocean's surface, where it can be scavenged by sharks and seabirds. But eventually, the whale body will begin to sink, falling kilometer after kilometer, until finally coming to rest on the ocean floor. Down here, the body actually nourishes an entire ecosystem of deep-sea creatures. But what lives down in the pitch-black waters of our world? To go down and explore the deep sea costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, since it requires expensive technology, which is why we don't know much about what's going on at the ocean bottom. Often, Expeditions with ocean research vessels rack up charges to $40,000 a day to operate. But scientists have found out that by sinking dead animals, they can see what will turn up to eat the carcasses. Previously, scientists had sunk cow carcasses off the coast of Portugal, humpback whale bones near Brazil, and alligators in the Gulf of Mexico. They attach cameras to the carcasses to document how life colonized the deep. Within hours of the carcasses hitting the bottom, giant isopods, zombie worms, six-gill sharks, Greenland sharks, and other undersea scavengers came to feast. A single whale can provide animals with food for up to two years during its initial scavenging state. After the scraps of blubber and muscle are gone, bone worms dig in. These invertebrates chemically eat the bones, breaking down elements such as collagen and fat. These small scavengers can spend as long as 10 years harvesting the remains of a whale. This is a fascinating process. However, not all whales sink to the bottom of the ocean when they die. Some instead become stranded on coasts around the world. Although efforts are often made to save them, the weight of the whale's own body soon begins to crush the internal organs. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please like and subscribe for more content in the future.